following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're taking a look at a long-awaited model from Sea Ray that takes the Sundancer line and adds a fully enclosed main deck with windows going all the way up to the standard hardtop. It's the all-new 350 Sundancer Coupe. Let's step aboard and take a look. We can board the Sundancer 350 Coupe either from the steps in the cockpit or by stepping from a floating dock to the swim platform. There's a fixed section of the swim platform that comes out 2 feet 7 inches and an additional 2 foot extension can be either fixed or hydraulic. Just ahead is transom storage beneath the hatch held open with a gas assist strut and we'd like to see this hatch open much wider. An optional transom gourmet station is available for outdoor cooking with a grill, sink and storage drawers. Just above are two speakers. A short shade retractable awning can be automatically extended from the back of the standard hardtop with the push of a button. This provides added protection from the elements on those hot sunny days. The 19 inch entry to the cockpit is just a starboard and a stainless steel framed acrylic door swings outward when opened. Just inside is a freshwater shower. Inside we have opposing seating that starts with a U-shaped settee to port wrapping around a solid wood table on dual pedestals. The upholstery is multi-toned and features diamond pattern stitching. When more room is required, the table can be stored under the engine hatch. And of course, there's storage under the seats. At the end of the seat is a 36-quart carry-on cooler. Opposite is a two-person seat with a drawer refrigerator underneath. The helm seat rotated around the gathering area is expanded on even more. The main deck is just a step up. Side windows and a standard fiberglass hardtop enclose all but the rear of the entire main deck. The rear can be enclosed with canvas and isinglass to extend the boating into the shoulder seasons in the colder latitudes. A lounge seat is to port opposite the helm. Steps provide easy access. This seat can be used as a forward or aft facing chaise and an opening window alongside adds to the comfort level. Premium upholstery treatments continue. Additionally, the forward seat back is adjustable. Not many builders add that feature. Storage is just ahead. In addition to the opening side windows, there's a manually opening vent just above the windshield and a large electrically actuated sunroof just behind. Altogether, these really serve to bring the outside in. The side decks are asymmetrical with 8 inch width to port and 10 inches to starboard. At the bow, a sun pad wraps around the recessed hatch to the forward berth, making this both a seating and lounging space. All three positions have adjustable seat backs. Stainless rails and drink holders are to the sides. Heading to the cabin, we access via a center mounted companionway with the door sliding into the helm console. As we enter, there's a wide open feeling with the 6 foot 5 inches of overhead clearance and plenty of natural light. Just to starboard is the galley with a bright white solid surface counter, a covered single basin sink with single lever grow faucet and a double burner ceramic cooktop. The hull side window has an opening port light for ventilation. A microwave is just above with storage alongside. A dual voltage refrigerator and trash receptacle is below. Drawer storage is alongside. We again have opposing seating starting with a pull out sofa to starboard. Hull side windows have storage just above. Pedestal bases are just in front to accommodate a table. A small piece of Corian is inlaid into the wood alongside so drinks don't ruin the wood. And to port is a love seat with a 32 inch TV, hull side windows and storage just above. Fully forward, there's a six foot berth offset into the bow, maximizing the space to the salon and galley. There's plenty of storage all around and under the mattress. Natural light comes from an overhead hatch. A privacy curtain stows into the cabin at the starboard. To port is the head. It includes a hull side window with opening port light, solid surface counter with vessel sink, simulated teak grate flooring, and a separate shower stall. There's even an air conditioning vent in the head. The mid cabin is behind the entry stairs and features twin berths that convert to a double bed. There's a mirrored bulkhead and plenty of storage. Just to port is a seat beneath an opening port light and more storage. It's nice to see a boat like this that not only combines the luxury, fit, and finish that we've come to appreciate from the brand, but also the extra feature of eliminating the eyes and glass that always goes above the windshield to fill the gap to the hardtop. Now it's all glass and closing the main deck on three sides and it looks great. It's also a nice handling boat, but that's another video, be sure to look for it. For now, that's our features inspection of the Sundancer 350 Coupe from Sea Ray. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.